Good morning from Washington, D.C. We're Madison and Ivan, and today we are mad venturing at the United States National Arboretum. This place was established by an act of Congress in 1927. It has over 446 acres to explore, and like most things in D.C., is completely free. We are so excited to be checking out the National Bonsai Museum, where we'll see one of the most famous trees in the world, the old Capitol Columns and the Garden of State trees. Let's go check it out. So we have made it to the National Bonsai and Penjing Museum. There's the sixth oldest bonsai tree in the world here. 53 of these bonsai trees were a gift to us from Japan for our bicentennial. So when America had been around for 200 years, they gifted us with 53 bonsai trees, which if you were along for the cherry blossom festival, they also gifted us those. Japan is just, they're great at giving us gifts and beautiful living things that we get to appreciate. This tree was started training in 1895. That makes it just the training part 125 years old. So this tree has been in training, you know, like becoming a bonsai tree since 1625. And what's crazy about this tree is it was in our gift of 53 trees for our bicentennial that the Japanese gave to us. And we, so we've had it since 1976. And in the early 2000s, this family came from Japan to visit it. And we found out that this family is who started the tree and that this tree had survived the bombing in Hiroshima. And it's just so crazy. Like there are literally photos of this tree, you know, after the bombing with everything obviously destroyed and this tree surviving and living and thriving. Uh, so it's a really, really special tree that uh, we have here. Redwoods are the tallest trees in the world, so it is crazy to see them in this mini bonsai form. I'll live you. <laughs> I'll live you too. So two things I just learned about bonsai and penjing plants. Well, first of all, the names. Uh, so bonsai is the, the Japanese word, and penjing is a Chinese art form. Penjing is the, the origin as well. It came first. And what I really like about the penjing style is that they create like traditional landscapes with it. So it's, it's more takes on like the natural form. I love bonsai plants as well, but they take a more artistic approach to shaping it into kind of like dramatic and uh, very like artistic uh, shapes. The way they train these, they have like wires that wrap around the branches and support them. And then there are like wires of like ten tension wires as well that like pull the branch down very slightly so it doesn't hurt the plant but it it shapes it into a downward slant and I guess that's the engineer in me I just love like the the building and and kind of like the the I guess the science and and physics behind it as well Over there columns which stood at the capital between I think 1826 and 1957. They were the backdrop of several inaugurations. There's some conflicting stories but from what I read the uh, the capital dome ended up being built much much bigger than anticipated and so everyone always thought the columns looked a little bit ridiculous with smaller columns and this huge huge dome. So there were renovations in the 1950s and they took these columns out and put them in storage for a really long time before finally they said, um, first off, these are taking up a lot of room in our storage facility. And secondly, should we do something with them? And so, voila, here we go.
now for the final mad adventure of the day, a scavenger hunt of the state trees. We've actually been learning a lot about state trees recently from one of our favorite TikTokers, Justin Davies, who's making a map of the US with each state made out of its state tree. So we are super excited about this. Turn Cottonwood. Woohoo! Then what you got over there? Nebraska. What is with it? <laughs> also the Eastern Cottonwood. North Dakota. The American Elm. The Loblolly Pine. You think you can eat it? No. It kind of looks falling. like a pine nut. Texas state tree, the pecan tree. Proud Texan. Louisiana bald cypress. So this is the Georgia state tree, the live oak, and where I went to college. Well, I guess the tree isn't where I went to college. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the Georgia straight. <laughs> Georgia Strait. <laughs> it's like off brand George Strait. Yeah. Right, cool. So, this is the Georgia State tree, the live oak. Georgia is where I went to college. <laughs> so, this is the Illinois State tree, the white oak, which is also where I went to college for my master's degree. But, fun fact I've actually never been to the, the state at all, I did it online. <laughs> We have found the California state tree, the coastal redwood. California is where Mass and I met each other, where we first had our, or we had our first day in a garden actually, or nature preserve much like this, the Huntington Garden and Library, also where I proposed to her. But here we are. California does have a pretty tree. New Mexico, the Pinon Pine tree that produces pine nuts. Here's a tree we're all familiar with. Oregon state tree, the Douglas fir. Uh, probably the most popular tree used for Christmas, or for Christmas trees. Does not look like a good Christmas tree to me. <laughs> it's natural, it's not farmed to be perfect. Well, they're supposed to look. <laughs> the spruce, the Colorado state tree. Fantastic color. They should make Christmas trees out of there. Yeah, for real, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's like, gives it a more modern vibe too, you know? Like, yeah. Cooler colors. West Virginia, sugar maple. New York state tree, sugar maple. Alaska state tree, Sitka spruce. This is the Washington DC tree, the scarlet oak. So these guys grow all the way down to Florida. So we're gonna follow that trail down next week. We are headed to Miami. Our time in Washington DC has come to an end. We will be back. There's still so many more things in the city that we wanna do, but we have had an amazing few months here. And now, time to hit the beaches and stop wearing jackets. <laughs> we have had a tremendous time in today's Mad Adventure. Seeing one of the most famous trees in the world, reflecting on it as a symbol of friendship and peace diving into the funny history of the Capitol Columns, and expanding on our Elm Mementory TikTok education of state trees was so much fun. Don't leave us hanging. Please hit those like and subscribe buttons. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you on the next one when we hit that Miami sun we've been pining for. And until then, live your own madventure.